It's another hot, scorching day here in the city, by the way. And the big game comes down to tonight, with both teams poised against one another. I don't know about you, but my money is on the Stripe team. The stripes always win. Now back to you, Sky Traffic. Thanks, Ground Zero. We are high in the sky with our eye on the prize. There seems to be a buildup east of the river. A small backup due to a broken down water truck. Back to you, Ground Zero. Thanks, Eye in the Sky. This is Radio YNF, your number one source for... Not another red light, screeched Yvonne while she slams on the brakes. I'm already late as it is. What else could go wrong? And as fate would have it, she really should not have asked, as she is now about to receive. Wham! Glass shatters, world spins, and all goes dark. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Isn't it wondrous? Yvonne slowly opens her eyes. I, 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 I can't believe this. I, I must be dreaming. What she saw truly put her in a state of shock and disbelief. Doctor, yells the person standing beside her. Doctor. Just then, a medical doctor and two nurses come rushing in. We saw a spike on her monitors and heard you call. What is the situation? She's awake, said the gentleman. Finally, said the doctor. You had us scared this time. You were out a little longer than usual. Yvonne's head filling with chaos as she is trying to figure out what is going on. Then she spontaneously blurts out, what is going on here? And who are you people? The doctor makes eye contact with the nurses and sends them out of the private hospital room. Yvonne, we know how upsetting and troubling this may be. So I will tell you directly. 33 years ago, you were involved in a car accident on your way to work. You were rushed to the hospital where you remained in a coma for three months. The gentleman responsible for the accident is here with us now, and the two of you have been happily married now for over 30 years. This is not possible, replies Yvonne. Just then a young woman comes bursting into the room. Mom, I hear mom has awakened. All this is too much for Yvonne to take in at once, and she passes out. The doctor assures everyone it is just due to fatigue and not a relapse. After about an hour, Yvonne wakes up and sees a strange man that is supposed to be her husband asleep in a chair sitting next to her. She looks around the room and says, 33 years. That would explain why everything looks so futuristic. Then she reaches over and rubs the man on the arm. Hey, you, wake up. As his eyes begin to open, Yvonne, without hesitation, asked him to bring her a mirror. But to her surprise, he also did not hesitate and reached in his coat pocket and pulled out a mirror and handed it to Yvonne. How did you know I was going to ask you for that? Baby, because after you awaken from the coma, you would experience these blackouts. At first, they happen once or so a month, then once every six months. Finally, it got down to where your last one was a decade ago. Not sure what brings them on. But one thing that always stays the same is when you awaken, you have no memory past the day of the accident. Don't call me baby. Ugh, I can't believe how old I look. Oh, and who was that young woman that walked in earlier? I thought I was looking at myself there for a second. That is our oldest girl. We have two, and they are both as lovely as their mother. Yvonne blurts out, I'm hungry. What you got to eat around this place? Her husband laughed and told her to hold on, he would be right back, to which he did, and she ate like a queen that night while occasionally breaking down in tears, some of sorrow and some of joy, as she was getting reacquainted with her soulmate, and he was catching her up to date on their lives together. The next morning, the doctor checked her over and thought her well enough to travel home. He also thought the sooner he got her there, maybe the quicker she might regain her memory. It had happened a couple of times before, but in reality would probably never happen. As Yvonne was escorted out in a fancy driverless wheelchair that drove itself directly to her car and even wished her well in its half robot voice, she could not help herself in getting excited about seeing everything for the first time. She looked around the parking lot in bewilderment and in the cityscape around her mes mesmerized her. She states, I black out as a Flintstone and I wake up as a Jetson. Oh, wow. Is this our car? Why, yes, it is. Do you like it? You picked out the color. 
what is it? <laughs> it's one of the new clean energy vehicles made by this new car company. A lot has changed in 33 years, I'll say. As they were gliding home in their driverless hovercraft, Yvonne's mind starts to race a mile a minute as she absorbs her newfound futuristic world. All of a sudden, she starts to breathe heavy and fast. Stop the car. I think I'm going to be sick. Her dedicated husband, already in tune with her needs, had taken control back over the hovercraft and was pulling into the park. Yvonne got out and breathed the fresh air and deeply. Then she said, Thank you. Not sure what came over me. I felt extreme anxiety and nervousness over the fact that I'm about to meet my children, my two daughters, for the first time. It's okay, he said. You, you have been through a lot. Hovering down the road, the vehicle takes its last turn, and it is onto a long, winding road. This is beautiful, states Yvonne. Where are we? We are currently heading up our driveway, and way up there on the top of that hill is our house. House? exclaims Yvonne. It looks like a castle. Well, it used to be one a long time ago, but now it is our home. Something tells me we're not in Kansas anymore. Oh, did I forget to mention that? Yes, you are correct. We are in Ireland. Ireland? Castles? Daughters? A husband? Hovering and flying vehicles? This is all just very amazing. What's next, fire-breathing dragons? Just then, the vehicle was pulling up to the main reception area, and out of the front door of the castle came a beast, running as fast as it could, making some sort of weird sound. No, 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 no. Seriously, what's that? A fire-breathing dragon? <laughs> no, baby. That is our pet, Dino. This time she does not object to him calling her baby. Dino, she replies. Yes, that is what you named it. Speaking of it, what is it? After the eruption of Yellowstone, most evacuated the states. The impending holocaust caused the earth to darken for several years. There were food shortages everywhere. Some took to eating their pets. Once the sun returned, so did growth. However, some damage could not be reversed. Most animal breeds had become extinct, so our scientists crossbred some species to expand their gene pool. Dino over there is a cross between an iguana and a hound dog. He's quite lovable. Just watch his spikes. As they go to open the doors to get out of the hovercraft, Yvonne looks at her husband and says, something's not right. Do you hear that? Hear what? Come on, here come the girls. That, that tapping, did you hear that? Yvonne closes her eyes to focus and the tapping gets louder. Then she hears a voice. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Isn't it wondrous? Yvonne's startled awake at that moment. I said, it's wondrous, isn't it, ma'am? You know, the green light, can you please drive forward now? Or is traffic interfering with your sleep? She then looks over at the glass window and sees a gentleman holding a coin that was used to tap on the glass to awaken her. And when her eyes adjusted and saw the man that woke her, she realized it was all a dream. And the man looked just like her dream husband. I, I apologize, I must have dozed off. Would, would you like to get a cup of coffee? There's a cafe just ahead. The gentleman nods, yes, and goes back to his car. Traffic is now clearing up, and there is no delays. This is eye in the sky, and my money is on the blue and gold team, Ground Zero. I don't think the stripes have what it takes. Back to you. Okay, copter of traffic, tonight's game is going to be huge. This is Ground Zero signing off. Oh, wait. This just in. Breaking news. Yellowstone Park has just erupted. Stay tuned as more details will be coming up.